Whenever there is any major repair to the building, it should not be charged to revenue. It is a capital expenditure. When I add up all this, I get 32.9. So adjusted profit is 167.1. If market value is not given, then we can always make use of the book value. So whenever we are asked to calculate goodwill, if there is a goodwill shown in the balance sheet, please don't take the goodwill. Hello everyone, I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I welcome you all to this session. In this session 2 of Unit 3, we will be working out one more problem on valuation of goodwill. So here the problem is, AX Limited proposed to purchase the business carried on by Bhatt and Sons. Goodwill is agreed to be valued at 3 years purchase of the weighted average profits for the past 4 years. The weights and profits for the past 4 years are given. So they have given us the weights and profits here. So here from 2017 to 18, the profit is 110 lakhs, 18, 19 it is 115, 19, 20, 145, 20, 21, 200. So the weights are given 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, there is additional information here. On scrutiny of the accounts, the following information is gathered. On 1st December 2019, major repairs were carried out on building incurring 30 lakh which were charged to revenue. Now, whenever there is any major repair to the building, it should not be charged to revenue. It is a capital expenditure. So, it cannot be deducted from that year's profits. So, this we should remember. So, this 30 lakhs which they have treated as revenue, the 30 lakh has been deducted from that year's profit. That is, the profit of 2019 and 20, they have just charged it to revenue and the profit has been reduced by 30 lakhs. The above mentioned sum was agreed to be capitalized for goodwill calculation subject to the adjustment of depreciation at 10% per annum under written down value method. Now, this 30 lakhs which has been incurred for repairs to building, so this for this they have told that it can be capitalized, but then there is a condition that we should have the adjustment of depreciation. So, we have to calculate depreciation on 30 lakhs at 10% for Four months, that is from 1st December, so 1, uh, 12, uh, 19 to 31, 3, 20. So it is a, a period of four months and for four months we have to calculate the depreciation. The closing stock for the year was undervalued by 10 lakhs. So the closing stock we have to add back this 10 lakhs. And then to cover management cost, an annual charge of 20 lakh is to be considered for the valuation of goodwill. So every year we have to deduct 20 lakhs from the profits as management cost. So compute the value of goodwill of the firm. So we have to calculate the value of goodwill of the firm after making all these adjustments in the profits. Now let us see here. So this is the calculation of, for the calculation of goodwill, the first thing is we need adjusted profits. Now for the profits of 2017 and 18, we have to charge only the uh, management expenses, that is 20 lakhs only we will deduct. So from 110, 20 lakhs, I'm getting the adjusted profit for 17 and 18 as 90 lakhs. Then the profits for 2018 and 19, again I am reducing only 20 lakhs because there are no other adjustments. So from 115 lakhs, I deduct 20 lakhs, I get 95 lakhs. Now, the profits for 2019 and 20, it is given as 145. Now, closing stock has been undervalued. So I have to add it back. So I am adding it. So add undervaluation of closing stock. So 145 plus 10. Then, so it is 145 plus 10, then major repairs to be treated as capital expenditure, this, that is 30. So totally comes up to 185. Then again, we have to deduct the depreciation on this. 
So what is the depreciation here? So 30 lakhs into 10 percent into 4 by 12. So that comes up to 1 lakh. Management expenses 20 lakhs. So total deductions will be 21. So out of this profit we have to reduce 21 lakhs. So I get 164 lakhs. Then profits for 2021. Undervaluation of opening stock. So this I have to less. Then next one will be depreciation. Then management expenses. So when I add up all this I get 32.9. So adjusted profit is 167.1 for the year 2020 and 21. Now we have the calculation of average weighted profits. So I have written all the adjusted profits here. All the weights are here. So the product of this 90 into 1 is 90 lakhs. 95 into 2 is 190. 164 into 3 is 492. 167 is 0.1 into 4 is 668.4. So when we add all this I get the total of 1440.4. Now, when I calculate the average, I get 144.04. So, the weighted average profit is 144.04 lakhs. Now, what is the value of goodwill? So, 144.04 into 3. So, 432.12 becomes the valuation of goodwill. Now, next we have the super profits. Now, what do we mean by super profit? It means the profits earned in excess of the normal profit. That is actual profit minus normal profit. We get the super profit. So the normal profit means profit which the firms could normally earn in a particular business. So whatever profits the firms are earning in a particular business. So that we call as the normal profit. So under super profit method. The goodwill is calculated by using the following steps. So calculate capital employed or average capital employed. So how do we calculate the capital employed? So there are two methods of calculating capital employed. One is the asset side approach. Second one is the liability side approach. Now under the asset side approach, we include all the assets here. So what are the assets to be included? Plant and machinery, land and buildings, furniture and fittings, leasehold property, patents and copyrights. So usually market value will be considered. If market value is not given, then we can always make use of the book value. Then current assets also, we have to consider the market value. So cash in hand, cash at bank. Then we also have sundry debtors, bills receivable, prepaid expenses, closing stock. So we have the total of the assets. Now from this we deduct the liabilities to outsiders that is sundry creditors, bills payable, bank overdraft, outstanding expenses. Then we also have provision for tax, debentures, outstanding interest on debentures, depreciation fund, so the total of the outside liability we will write here. Then whatever is the answer that is total of A minus B that is assets minus liabilities. I write it here. So this will be the capital employed. Now from this we deduct 50% of current year's profit. So 50% of current year's profit I deduct it from this. So whatever answer I am getting. So that is considered as the average capital employed. Now in the liability side approach, we consider the liabilities. What are the liabilities we should consider? So first one is the share capital, reserve fund, workman compensation fund, profit and loss account, appreciation in the value of asset. So total of liabilities. From this we deduct goodwill preliminary expenses, non-trading assets, fall in the value of assets. So from this, all these liabilities, we deduct the fictitious assets. So we get the capital employed. Then, note, what is the note here? So the intangible assets. 
these assets include patent trademark copyright etc these are taken at realization of market value so this intangible assets means they are those assets which include the patent trademark and the copyright so goodwill shown in the balance sheet should be excluded so whenever we are asked to calculate goodwill if there is a goodwill shown in the balance sheet please don't take the goodwill if investments if investment is given in the balance sheet it should be excluded because this amount has been invested outside the business so if there is any investment made by the company in some other company so such investment should not be included for capital employed because that money is used by somebody else then fictitious assets if such types of assets are given in the balance sheet such as preliminary expenses discount of issue of shares underwriting commission debit balance of pnl account advertisement excess these should be ignored because actually it is not monies but a combination of losses which should be deducted out of profits in future so if there are anything like this like preliminary expenses all these are fictitious assets so the, all these assets should be excluded when we are taking the into consideration the capital employed then next one is calculation of average profit so average profit can be calculated using simple or weighted average profit method then calculate fmp what is fmp future maintainable profit so how do we get fmp average profit minus remuneration to partner or income from investment or interest on investment so the average that is the fmp will be got by average profit minus remuneration to partner or income from investment then next step is calculation of normal profit so for normal profit we have average capital employed into nrr that is the normal rate of return divided by 100 so for this we get the average normal profit then next one is the super profit super profit will be fmp minus normal profit calculation of goodwill is super profit into number of years purchase then under capitalization method the goodwill is calculated in the following way calculate super profits according to the super profit method so goodwill equals super profit by nrr into 100 So with this we come to the end of this session hope you have all followed it thank you